Evening Edition. And good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kirk Montgomery. Tonight we begin with a massive prisoner exchange with Russia, the largest in post-Soviet history. It's our top story this Thursday. The United States and Russia completed a 24-person prisoner swap, with Russia releasing Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich and fellow American Paul Wieland. New video tonight shows them boarding a plane in Moscow early Thursday with their destination back on American soil. The pair was joined by several others also released from Russia. The trade follows years of secret negotiations and comes at a time when relations between Washington and Moscow are at their lowest point since the Cold War. President Joe Biden calling this a diplomatic feat and telling reporters that today their agony is over. Gershkovich was arrested in 2023 and sentenced to 16 years in a Russian prison last month. Whelan has been imprisoned since 2020, following his arrest in 2018. Both were accused of espionage, which the U.S. State Department denies. Newsnet's David Dade now with the very latest from the <laughs> Hollywood's video game performers are heading to the Warner Brothers studio lot to pick it against what they call an unwillingness from top gaming companies to protect voice actors and motion capture workers equally against the unregulated use of artificial intelligence. The protest marks the first large labor action since game voice actors and performance workers voted to strike last week. The work stoppage came after more than 18 months of negotiations with gaming giants, including divisions of Activision, Warner Brothers, and Walt Disney over a new interactive media agreement stalled over protections around the use of AI. Union leaders have billed AI as an existential crisis for performers. Carrie Underwood will be the next singer to sit behind the judges table on American Idol, filling Katy Perry's spot after her departure from the show in May. Underwood, who of course rose to fame after she won the singing competition show back in 2005, will return 20 years later as a judge for the upcoming season, set to premiere in the spring of 2025. She is the first American Idol alum to become a judge. In an emotional video announcing her new gig, she said, quote, I'm proud of everything that I was able to accomplish on the show, and I'm so proud of everything that I've accomplished since. Three years after the release of the smash hit first season of Squid Game, it's back. A teaser trailer confirming the return of the South Korean drama in which contestants suffering financial hardship compete in deadly games for money dropped Thursday. The second season is released on Netflix on December 26th and a third and final season in 2025. Where to invest your money? It's always a question, right? Well, tonight The Street talks to an expert about why he says Newmont is his single best trade. Jeff Mullenkamp is portfolio manager at Mullenkamp & Company. Jeff, tell me...